Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. A little while ago I made this video, TTGO T-Watch Sensor Kit Unboxing, and it includes the TTGO T-Watch 2019. I got that right here. Well, I got a couple of these S76G GPS LoRa backboards for the T-Watch 2019. So I figured I better get another T-Watch 2019. And we're going to do a little open heart surgery here. Here you can see the stock backplane on the T-Watch 2019. It's got a little buzzer, battery for the real time clock, SD card slot. And that's the Grove connector there. And you can see the S76G board in the background. There's a close-up of the stock backboard for the T-Watch 2019. Here's a close-up of the S76 board. You see here the internal LoRa antenna, there's the GPS antenna, the battery connector, and there's the SD card and the Grove connector. Here you can see I have it installed. There's the ribbon cable and the white line on the ribbon cable is nice and neatly parallel with the connector there. And we're ready to close up the patient. So now we're going to check out some of the ex example sketches from the TTGO T-Watch library. Make sure to watch my TTGO T-Watch 2020 Arduino IDE video to learn how to prepare the Arduino IDE to run TTGO T-Watch example sketches. And we're going to run the S7XG LoRa example sketch and the GPS example sketch. You see those right here. So let's check it out. So in the S7XG LoRa sketch, you just need to come in and uncomment the LilyGo T-Watch 2019 with touch, and then you're ready to upload that. And let's check it out. Okay, so we've loaded that S7XG LoRa sketch on both of these T-Watch 2019s with the GPS LoRa backplanes. So let's see how that works out. You can see there's three buttons. There's sender, receiver, and GPS. So I'm going to press receiver on this one. And there's nothing on the screen. Then I'm going to press sender on this one. So now you see basically it's that same TTGO LoRa Hello World thing going on there. The sender sends, the receiver receives. Now you can switch between modes by pushing the user button, which is the middle button, and that brings us back to the menu. I'm going to go ahead and push the GPS button now. I'll do the same thing on this one. We'll see. And right now it just says it's positioning. We'll wait and let them figure out where they're at. Okay, we're back, and you can see we've got a fix here. I have to blur it out, but it's pretty accurate. It'll get you within a few feet of where I'm at, so pretty cool with that. Let's check out this other sketch. So in the S7XG GPS sketch, you're going to want to go into Config H and uncomment that LilyGo Watch 2019 with Touch line. We'll do that right there. So we're also going to come down here to the bottom and we're going to change some of the code around a little bit. They're only showing two decimal places in the longitude and latitude, so I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in again. Now I'm going to set this to 4. And I'm going to create a single line for longitude and a single line for latitude. We'll set this to 4. Okay, so we're going to have latitude 4 decimal places and longitude four decimal places. Let's go ahead and upload this and see how that looks. Okay, so we got a fix using that S7XG GPS sketch, and it's looking good here. This is the raw GPS data to four decimal places, and you can just search Google Maps and it will pick it right out for you. So I'm gonna blur out the last few decimal places. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed checking out a couple of example sketches with this T-Watch GPS LoRa S76 backplane for the T-Watch 2019. Stay tuned and I'm going to come up with some combined code for the GPS and the LoRa that will transmit GPS data from one T-Watch to the other. All right, thank you very much. Give this video a like. Click down below for the links in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click over here to check out the TTGO playlist. Thank you very much.
Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.